Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Today we are going to do another DIY um, gift for teachers in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. School is coming to an end and I know a lot of us like to do things for teachers. So I'm doing these for my grandsons their teachers so uh there's four of them and then i'm also doing one for my sister-in-law now my sister-in-law is a high school teacher so on hers i haven't put her name yet because i want to talk to her and see if she wants her first name or her last name because you know i know it's sort of different for them now these are the starbucks snow globe tumblers and there's a couple different ways that you can do them. So I will tell you, I've been doing these for a couple years and I've learned a few things. Sorry, my phone rang. So doing these for a while, you know, there are things that I've learned. Now I know that there are people who do so many of these and they probably have tricks that I have no idea about. But one of the things that I've noticed, and this is why I like YouTube better than TikTok because people will do these like super quick on TikTok and it makes them, I mean, they're easy to do, mind you, but there are just some things that are important that you can't do in a quick video like that. So I'm doing these for Teach Appreciation Week and I thought that I would share in case you wanted to make them. Okay, so I do have, we're going to make one and I have one more in the garage. I have the bottom, the bottom going. So one thing I will say for me, I like a, this really thick, slow moving glitter and that is total preference, right? So sometimes Sometimes I do put glycerin in there if I want it to like be fast. So like, especially if I'm making it for kids, I'll put glycerin so that it moves up and down fast. But I like the idea of it moving slow and I like how the thicker glitter gives it like an ombre when it's sitting. So I... I do my bottom with a color. I use UV resin on the bottom. You don't have to. You can use, they make like this two part. It's like an epoxy glue. And I think Gorilla Glue makes it. There's probably several, but you could use that to stop up your hole if you want to. But I like to do the epoxy bottom just because I like this like ombre look when it's just sitting. And I feel like that, you know, the thicker solution allows that ombre to sort of stay up there. Now it doesn't move as fast, you know, mind you, when you're, when you're going and depend and how much glitter I put in is really dependent on the look that I'm going for. So like these didn't get a whole lot of glitter because I have these like little pencils and apples that I want to really be seen. So all of that is just sort of like dependent. So I've got my tumblers. So what we're using, let me put these to the side. So I have my Starbucks tumbler and there's also some that you can get on Amazon that is just like a clear, uh, plain acrylic that also work like super well also. So, but for this, I'm doing the Starbucks ones. All right, so I have my tumbler. Now, I already have some mixture mixed up. I will have to mix up some more, but I've been doing several of them. So, my, so I have mix mixed up. And I like to mix in a bottle. So what I do is one third clear Elmer's glue and then two thirds distilled water. If I can't find distilled water, then I'll get purified water. But 
either way, just like a distilled or purified water. And that way, over time, you don't have gunk in your water that's going to like turn colors or anything like that. So here's my mixture and I like to put it in a bottle. So it's just Elmer's clear glue and distilled or purified water. Now, on the bottom, under the hole, I do like to use these little glue tabs. So I will tell you, I prefer the solid white ones better. These are harder to use if your if your bottom of your cup gets a little wet or something, but this is just what I happen to have, and I didn't feel like going out and getting the other ones. But these work, but I do prefer the solid white ones, just so you know. And then glitter. So I'm doing, you know, you're going to choose what glitter that you want to use. I'm doing a light color because I'm putting the little clay pieces in. I've got my clay pieces. These are from AliExpress. You can get these on Amazon. AliExpress, you can get them at... Um, Michael's, you can get them at Hobby Lobby, so many places. So I have these. Now, depending on what size pieces I'm putting in there, sometimes I might have to drill like a, you know, extra big hole. So that's all dependent. And then I have my drill. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to drill our hole. Now, I also like to keep something with a point on it. Now, the first thing that I want to tell you, even though I've done a bunch of these, I have messed up so many cups because I get not paying attention and drill too deep into the bottom. So remember, you're wanting to go in the space between the outside and the inside. So if you drill down, I have a whole graveyard of cups that I've not paid attention and I've drilled all the way through and then it just wastes your cup. So what you'll notice is that once I feel like I'm getting to where I'm getting in there, I will like slow down and stop and I kind of pick at it with a needle because sometimes the piece of plastic gets stuck in there and you don't realize that you're actually going through. It looks like it's not through yet and it's just that that plastic is stuck in there. So I'm going to drill and I usually on these cups, I usually like to go right here between there's like all this imprinted like words and stuff and I generally just go right here. Now when I drill I'll turn the sound off so that you don't have to like hear that but I do want you to see um, it's actually a little bit more challenging to only go through one side and not both because you got to pay attention so when I start getting feeling like I'm close I'll sort of like lean it to the side. And my drill is just from Amazon. So as you can, so if you can see my little plastic pieces down in there, I want to try and get it out. But, you know, if you're not careful, it makes it look as though like you didn't drill the hole all the way because sometimes that little plastic piece can get stuck down in there. So, you know, I just like to 
like once I start feeling like I'm close, I just like to kind of stop and use, a, you know, something and just make sure. Because that's how you end up going all the way through to your other piece and you don't want to do that. All right. All right, so now we're going to now we're going to put our glitter in. And so you'll see sometimes people use will use like a massage gun and hit it to go through like I don't know, to me that's just too much for like unneeded, you know what I mean? But to each their own. And I do normally just put a piece of tape up around here. And that is just so that the glitter doesn't go all over, but I'm not gonna do that simply because I want you to be able to see. So I just put my glitter in and then I just start patting it. And I just tap it and it goes in pretty easy. And putting the tape around the edge will just sort of keep it from going all over. see it goes in pretty easy. Now, again, depending on, you know, what you got going on, you decide how much glitter you want. So I'm putting less in these than I normally do. And that is because of my clay pieces that I'm going to put in and I want them to be seen. So you can see that goes in pretty easy. I mean, if you want to do all the other stuff, you can. And if I had tape around there, I wouldn't even make a mess. All right. So now I'm going to put in some clay pieces. I'm going to put in some apples and I'm going to put in some little, um, pencils. So my clay pieces, now your clay pieces, depending on, you know, how thick they are. Because remember, you also, you know, you're still, you're going between the wall of the tumbler. So you don't want too thick. Now, bigger ones though, I, you know, do sometimes have to like drill two holes beside each other just to make a hole big enough for my clay pieces. Because of the length of them, you know, the width can only be so you know, so much regardless. So I like to, with my clay pieces, I like to just sort of like get them, you know, on this part here and then scoot them in. Now I put my clay pieces in after my glitter. Again, everybody's preference, but the reason why I do that is because I don't like it to just get stuck around this lip. Because you're going to want all of your glitter, you know, to blend in with your solution. Elmer's makes a magic solution also. I'm assuming it's probably glue and um, like vegetable glycerin. I've never tried it. Now, again, like I said, if you want yours to move faster, you can put, 
you know, some vegetable glycerin in it and it really does make a difference. And I sometimes use it. It just really depends on, you know, what I'm making and why. So like, see, these are a little bit bigger. So I have to, I just sort of like work them in. Some of them might be too big. There we go. That guy's right there. If he, if it finds its way to work out, perfect. But if not, even if it stays up there, you'll see it on the inside of the cup. It's not a big deal. Sorry, that's a bigger one. So this is why I just sort of like work these things in. And he'll come down. All right, so now I have my solution. So now I'm gonna put my solution in. And one of the things that I have found, you make less mess if you kind of go at an angle with your little bottle. And that's why I use a bottle instead of a funnel because you're going between the sides. So if you're going straight down, it tends to make more of a mess. Now, I put a little in and then I like to pull everything down. I don't want it kind of gunked up here because I need it to all mix. If you um, if you leave it all kind of chunked up at the bottom, oh, let me make sure you can see. If you leave it all chunked up at the bottom, then you're going to end up not putting enough solution in because you get air pockets. So you just wanna make sure everything mixes. And then after we put this in, you're gonna see bubbles will kind of rise. So you wanna kind of sit and let all your bubbles rise. All right, so now I'm going to just take a paper towel and I'm gonna just kind of hold over this and I'm gonna start mixing it. I want it to mix really, really good. Now you can see, see how much space is in here now. All right, so now we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes. 
and we're going to let all of the air bubbles kind of rise out. And then once it settles, if we need to, we'll add some more and then we'll give it about 15 minutes and then we'll come back and we will go and plug it up. Again, I can't stress it enough. The white dots are the better ones. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of UV resin over that. And I'm going to put it over my cup. Now I'm going to mix up some resin and glitter. And I'm just using this red Dorothy. Now with this, what is important is that you want it to be underneath the lip. Now, I will generally make this sort of thick, and then I put a little bit of resin in it and use my heat gun. Oh, and I'm using Resin Rockers UV Resin. My lights from Amazon, the two of the bulbs have burnt out. It came with new bulbs. I mean, it came with extra bulbs. I just have no clue what I've done with them because it's been a while. And it's actually going to be cheaper for me to buy a new light than to buy extra bulbs. So I do need to order a new light. And again, you want to stay under, under the lip. And because I'm under the lip, it makes it super easy for me to just set my light on it because the lip will hold my light and it doesn't touch my resin. Make sure there's no bubbles. All right, now I will actually let this sit for about 10 minutes because I want it to be really nice and hard. And then after that, I'll come back, I'll wash the cup, and then we'll put our decal on. And it's as simple as that. Like this really doesn't take that long and they're super cute. All right, so our bottom is finished and I just washed the cup with soap and water. And now I'm just gonna put on my decal. I have a little apple. Now, anytime I'm putting a ring around the Starbucks, I like to use wax paper just because, you know, it's not always easy to line it up. And the wax paper is nice because you can sort of see where you're at and, you know, sort of like set your vinyl down. and have a good space before you commit to, you know, taking it off the paper. And then, you know, you just pull the wax paper out. I still sometimes have to, you know, sort of pull it around, especially, you know, things that are in circles because it's sometimes hard to get them to not lay weird. Ah, and of course it's even harder when you're on camera trying to do it.
Stem. All right, and there we go. There is our cup. <laughs> the straw. Now this one, you know, like I said, it's thicker, it moves slower. But that's how I want it. And then I just want you to see so when I talk about how it looks kind of, it looks ombre with the thicker stuff. And when it's sitting, it just sort of looks ombre. But anyways, there are all of my cups. And I hope they like them. Super easy, super fun, and a nice little teacher appreciation gift. Anyways, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you later, friends. Bye.